we're back at it again with Monster High Part 3. If you haven't seen the first two, I definitely suggest checking those out first. But, for those of you who haven't, this series is basically where I take Monster High characters and try and make them look like they're from the 1950s. The most highly requested character was Cleo Denial, so we're going to be doing her first. One of the interesting things about Cleo Denial is that everybody who suggested her mostly suggested her in like a type of perfume ad, which I thought was really funny that somehow everybody just agreed that she should be in a 1950s perfume ad. When trying to figure out how I would translate her design to look more vintage, I noticed that in the original design her hair almost looks kind of like how they would do it in the 1960s. I thought it would be a good idea to make it more fairly obvious and so I really made her hair really huge like how they would have it back then and I decided that maybe the rest of her outfit should also look kind of 1960s since she's got the hair so she ended up being more 1960s than 1950s. I knew that the mummy wrappings had to be very prevalent in the design because otherwise she just kind of looks like a normal person and she's obviously supposed to be a monster, so I decided to turn her mummy wrappings to kind of into gloves. As said before, this is a perfume advertisement, so I drew out her perfume and made it kind of look like it was in a heart shape. I don't know if this was just me, but the drawing actually reminded me a lot of Nephora. I was originally going to do it where she was sitting in her bedroom, but then it kind of cluttered the whole design and you couldn't really tell what was mainly supposed to be going on. And most 1950s and 60s commercials, they're mostly just sitting out in the void, so it's not like it's that uncommon. So I decided that instead of a whole crazy background, it should just be some simple shapes to get the general idea across. And with that, she is finished. second character I did a poll asking which one you guys would want to see the most and Ghoulia pretty much blew it out of the water. Ghoulia is a zombie monster who was one of the first G1 characters to be introduced. She doesn't technically talk instead she groans and everybody else just somehow understands her and she was one of the first G1 ghoul dolls to be released with people. The first two things I immediately knew I wanted to do with Ghoulia is to make her look like a George Petty pinup and for her to have a ponytail. George Petty was a very famous pinup artist and I wanted her to have a ponytail just because I thought she would look good with it, honestly. I also didn't want to give her a skirt or a dress because, like I said, she was one of the only ghoul dolls originally released with pants, and so I thought it was very integral to her design. Thank you. 
And then, of course, what she's advertising is brain juice because she's a zombie. Yep, we're back at the beverages again. After a few final touches, Gulia is complete. So yeah, that was Redesigning Monster High Part 3. It's kind of funny that when the original Monster High came out, I didn't really like these characters a whole lot. I didn't hate them or anything, I was just too busy with Draculaura and Claudine. So I wasn't sure if I'd be quite as motivated to do these, but I have to say it was actually pretty fun. Especially since I didn't like them a whole, whole lot, it was kind of more of what would I do to make me like them more. So did you like Cleo or Gulia more? And if there's another type of series you guys want me to do, like maybe another type of doll line, like Pinky Cooper, or maybe Bratz, or maybe not even a doll line, maybe more of my Animal Crossing redesign, or maybe something totally new like Zelda, please leave it in the comments and I'll definitely try and get to it. Thank you and goodbye!